Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new Pokemon TCG video. What we'll be showcasing today is a deck that's actually pretty fantastic, but unfortunately it's a bit counterintuitive, uh, especially since we no longer have the Mr. Mime, and I'll get to that in just a minute. Now, normally the Dugtrio has never been a particularly popular Pokemon, I mean, it has a pretty mediocre amount of HP, I guess you can see. It is a stage 1 Pokemon, which is kind of nice, uh, because, I mean, it's not that hard to bring out, and it doesn't require as much deck space as a lot of stage 2 decks, which require Earthquake, while it hits for 60 damage to our opponent's active Pokemon. It also inflicts 10 damage to each of our own bench Pokemon. Unfortunately, in the standard format, uh, we no longer have Mr. Mime, which is actually a real, real shame, because had we Mr. Mime, uh, we could use the Earthquake in combination with the Fighting Stadium, where Whereas in our case, we're unfortunately going to have to run some of the Mountain Ring Stadium card to prevent all damage done to bench Pokemon by our own Dugdrio's attacks. Now, you guys are thinking, well, why exactly is that the case? Well, the reason for that is because the Dugdrio, I mean, um, it again, it's very, very easy to knock out. So it works a lot better when we have the Focus Sash attached to it. And this gives our Fighting type Pokemon a free pass on the... Um, on the first attack, essentially, because, I mean, a lot of Pokemon can very easily hit for 90 HP or more, which, again, is a real, real shame, because the Dugdrio, I feel like, has a lot of potential, now that we see it, um, now that we see the evolutions being a part of uh, a lot of different types of decks, because Dugdrio is a stage 1 Pokemon, so we can take advantage of the electric effect, which allows our Dugdrio to be a uh, lightning-type Pokemon, in addition to its fighting-type, then we also, oh, sorry, um, of course, we have a total of 4 EVs. We have the Aqua Effect, which allows the Dudrio to be a Water type in addition to Fighting type. And of course, we have the Flare Effect, which allows the Dudrio to be a Fire type Pokemon as well. Dudrio is very, very energetically efficient, only requires a single Fighting Energy card. Now, imagine if we had Strong Energy, and uh, as opposed to um, bringing out the Fighting Stadium, um, we have to bring out the very very shameful mountain ring again i don't really like it because i mean if we had a strong energy for example and a muscle band again we can't even attach muscle band for the most part uh because we'll most likely have the focus sash attached to the dudrio and of course we don't have the fighting stadium so what that normally means is that if we were able to take advantage of our opponent's weakness we unfortunately probably won't get that one hit knockout which is a real shame but believe me uh, the focus sash works a lot better then and the muscle band and as does the mountain ring as opposed to the fighting stadium because of course there's no point of running any focus sashes whatsoever if we're not running a mountain ring because then the drill would just, would just be damaging each of our bench pokemon and that pretty much makes the focus sash absolutely useless but focus sash believe me goes a very very long way in this deck so I highly, highly recommend you guys run the Focus Sash. In our case, we are running a total of three copies of it. And of course, we're running a total of three copies of the Mountain Ring. Just in certain situations where we may want to go for that one final big one-hit knockout, for example. I have decided to run a single copy of the Fighting Stadium that uh, we will be including in this deck. And of course, we have a single copy of the Muscle Band as well. So there is a little bit of variability there. Um, but believe me... The Focus Sash works a lot better because it's really, really easy for opponents to knock out these uh, little 90 HP Pokemon. So, um... Focus Sash is absolutely the way to go. I wish we had Mr. Mime, then we wouldn't be in this sort of dilemma where we have to um, replace a fantastic Stadium card with a relatively mediocre Stadium card, but unfortunately that is how, that is just how things are, and we're just going to have to deal with it unless we get some sort of Mr. Mime reprint, for example, or some other sort of Pokemon that gives us that bench um, that bench protection. Anyways, we also have four copies of the Halucha, just a very, very powerful, yeah, sorry, just a very, very powerful anti-EX Pokemon, only requires a single energy card has absolutely no retreat cost 70 hp well 70 hp doesn't sound all that impressive but uh but believe me this little halucha can dish out tons and tons of damage uh will almost always win the prize card exchange whenever we have the halucha out as our active pokemon and our opponent happens to bring out an ex pokemon of their own so halucha is a fantastic pokemon we have four copies of that in our deck now since all of our pokemon in case you guys weren't paying close attention have 90 hp or less this allows us to make use of a total of four copies of the level ball, which is absolutely fantastic because, again, Ultra Ball can be a bit of a liability card from time to time, often forcing us to discard relatively useful cards. 
So for example, if we had the Ultra Ball, we may have to unfortunately send a couple of Dugdrios into our discard pile, a couple of Diglets, things like that, um, because it does require us to give up any two cards from our hand to make use of it. Level Ball, there is no such restriction, so it works absolutely fantastically well in this deck. We are running four copies of the Level Ball, and if that wasn't really enough to grab out onto all of our Pokemon, we also have a total of two copies of the Karina, which will allow us to search for some of our fighting type Pokemon, in addition to an item card as well. So Karina is a fantastic supporter card as well. We are running two copies of that in our deck. Now we're only running a total of 10 energy cards. Six of them are fighting energies. Four of them are the strong energies. So I felt like um, Professor's Letter absolutely has a... Um, very demanding sort of role in this deck I guess you could say because oftentimes we're left without a whole lot of energy cards and uh, what's fantastic about these fighting decks is that they have the Karina support which pretty much again functions like an ultra ball and allows us to grab onto an item card so we can absolutely use Karina to grab onto that professor's letter and that's going to alleviate a lot of our energy woos. Uh, we have uh, the Sacred Ash, which is pretty useful in case any of our Pokemon do get knocked out, and we'd like to recycle them as attackers, we can go right ahead and make use of that card. A single copy of the Switch card, we're not really going to need to switch a whole lot in between our Pokemon, I mean, Hawlucha has absolutely no retreat cost, neither does the Jolteon, uh, but it's still, it is kind of nice to include at least one copy of that in our respective deck. We have 3 VS Seekers to allow us to reuse any of our supporter cards, we have 1 Ace Trainer, 3 Professor Birches, and 4 Seekmores for some draw support, 2 Lysanders to lure out any of the opponent's bench Pokemon, and that is pretty much it guys so pretty simple layout 20 Pokemon 30 trainer cards and 10 energies which is actually rather unusual um, I don't I don't actually think I've had a lot of decks fit so neatly in this uh, sort of 10 uh, 20 30 pile which I, 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 I do think it's kind of cool anyways uh, let's see what type of deck we are going to be facing again guys believe me that the focus sash really really outweighs the benefits of the um, strong, well, sorry, of the uh, muscle band, as does the um, mountain ring stadium card that we have. So I'm gonna start off with the Halucha as our active Pokemon. Let's go and lay down an additional Halucha and a Diglett on to our bench. Again, Halucha, what I absolutely love about it is the fact that it's able to freely retreat. And okay, so we're gonna see the Oddish. I'm assuming our opponent's gonna be running the Giratina EX deck. Uh, but for the time being, I'm going to go and attach the Focus Sash on to the Diglett. Let's go and use that Seekamore. We still have a Sacred Ash. Just keep that in mind, guys. Uh, let's go and attach one more Sacred Ash. Uh, sorry, the um, Focus Sash on to that Halucha. And then I'm going to go and attach the Fighting Energy card on to that Diglett for now. And uh, let's actually go and retrieve this Halucha for now. I mean, I, I don't think this Halucha should lose its life either. But I, I think I'm just going to retreat it just in case. I again, I'm pretty sure... That our opponent is running a Dratina EX deck. I mean, uh, Valplume is often almost always a dead giveaway. And I do believe I had seen some um, Dragon-type Pokemon in our opponent's deck. Uh, so, yeah. So, I'm, I'm thinking there's a pretty high likelihood of that. Let's see when our opponent will be able to bring out the item lock. But we should be safe, I think, at least for one more turn from the opponent's item lock. Uh, we're going to see that Lucky Helmet. That's a very unusual... Um, card to be used in combination with the Oddish. That's actually a fantastic card. I have to say, I haven't thought about using the um, Lucky Helmet in one of these Giratina EX decks because uh, I feel like one of the biggest issues with these Giratina EX decks is the fact that um, getting drawing onto lots of useful cards can be kind of difficult, especially when we do ultimately get the item lock going ourselves. So we are going to see that Giratina EX, a Mil Tank, make its appearance as well as Shaman EX. That's going to allow the opponent to draw on to some additional cards. I think he's desperately trying to bring out those Glooms and the Vile Plumes, but uh, I don't think he can pull it off just yet. So, I mean, he had to send one of his own Vile Plumes into that discard pile. Also, a Double Dragon Energy, which is always something that I like to see going in that discard pile. And that is going to be our first turn for the opponent. So, things are definitely going quite well for us right now. Let us go and bring out the Dugrio. Um, I guess one more Eevee. But uh, I don't think we're going to be able to take advantage of a lot of our opponent's Pokemon's weaknesses. I mean, we can definitely take advantage of that fighting weakness. Unfortunately, we can't take advantage of that fairy weakness, but we can also take advantage of that fire weakness as well. So I'm going to go and make use of that Karina. And, um, okay, so I think we should grab onto... Do we have a... Uh, yeah, so we have a Dugrio in our hand. So let's go and actually look for a Diglett temporarily. And uh, look for the VS Seeker, I think, is a pretty good option as well. Just to look for that uh, Seeker more, and then we can go right ahead and make use of it again during our next turn. So let's go and bring out a Diglett on to that bench. I'm definitely going to go and get rid of the opponent's Stadium card. I don't want too much... Um 
backlash from our own earthquake attack let's go and use this to grab onto that sycamore i'm gonna go and retreat that halucha bring out that dudrio and then let's go and hit for 80 damage again for a single energy attachment and again there's no sort of backlash from this attack so uh yeah so these uh, mountain rings definitely do seem to be paying off well now what's unfortunate against uh, coming across one of these dratina yx decks is the fact that the chaos wheel whenever our opponent does make use of it it prevents us from making use of any um from bringing out any of our own stadium cards any pokemon tool cards or special energy cards during our next turn so we have to absolutely crush our opponent in case we do want to take sort of a prize card lead so that mill tank could potentially knock out the dudrio uh in case we do see a muscle band and of course if our opponent is somehow able to bring out a vile plume i mean all he really needs is a um what's it called a teammate card and i think he would be able to pull it off he would of course need the forest of giant plants as well to be able to bring out all of those evolutions maybe our opponent would be running the rare candy and the vile plume as well but i think that's a little bit unlikely so we are going to see that ultra ball uh i i think there's a pretty high likelihood guys that we will be getting item locked from this point out uh so we're gonna have to play it carefully and uh, again it is unfortunate but we won't be able to bring out any more of our strong energies uh, so we're gonna have to rely on those fighting state sorry on those fighting energy cards so uh we're gonna see a shaman ex make its appearance i don't know if our opponent's getting really really unlucky uh but um yeah so we're gonna see that shaman ex coming out again we aren't uh, we aren't uh, special energy locked just yet we're not even item locked just yet or stadium locked so things are actually going quite well right now and um, the other thing that I've just noticed about our opponent is that he doesn't have any Hydreigon EXs in his bench, which I think could be a fatal mistake, because that Giratina EX just has a massive, massive 3 energy card retreat cost. So you know what, I may actually just Lysander out that Giratina EX, and uh, yeah, just give our opponent a very, very difficult time. So you know what, I may, I may actually do that. So we're going to see that Lysander. No idea why our opponent decided to bring out that Halucha. I mean, he knows quite well that we'll be able to freely retreat it, but uh, you know what, that may actually work in our favor. Okay, looks like our opponent is actually gonna quit the game so we will find ourselves an additional opponent i guess things just weren't going their way i guess i don't particularly blame them i mean uh those Dudrio decks are just so heavy hitting, just so fast, very, very easy to set up, which is precisely what I love about them. Again, I'm just uh, really bummed out at the fact that there is no more Mr. Mime, and Mr. Mime just works much, much better than the uh, Mountain Ring Stadium card, because of course, um, then we could of course take advantage of the Fighting Stadium card in combination with it. So yes, we will absolutely be going first, and uh, alright, so it looks like we're going to start off with a Halucha and a Diglett. Uh, let's see what uh, Pokemon our opponent is going to bring out. So if it's an EX Pokemon, I may just attach the Focus Sash on to that Halucha. If it's a non-EX Pokemon, I may just attach it to the Diglett. Uh, so we'll, we'll see depending on the situation, on the circumstances. Alright, so it's a non-EX Pokemon. So I think uh, we're going to go and start things off by attaching the Focus Sash on to that Diglett. Um, and we can definitely take advantage of the opponent's Lightning Weakness and the Fighting Weakness. Alright, so I'm, I'm actually quite excited for this battle. Let's go and lay down the Mountain Ring. We have absolutely no EX Pokemon. So that Reggie Ice is going to be absolutely useless to a large extent. Let's go and use Professor Birch's Observation. Looks like we're going to flip a Tails, but I'm going to stick with that Halucha as our active Pokemon, and that is going to have to be how we end that first turn. So, uh, Grasp, uh, unfortunately, we can't take advantage of that Steel Weakness. There are no Steel Evolutions, but um, yeah, so I mean, I mean there's, there's not a whole lot we can do about it, but the Reggie Ice, again, shouldn't be particularly troubling for us to deal with. Resistance Blizzard could potentially perform one hit knockouts on that Halucha, maybe even onto those Dugdrios if we do see the Muscle Bands getting latched onto it. But again, um, Focus Sashes, it's okay, we still have three more in our deck. We all, uh, sorry, two more in our deck. We also have the Muscle Band as well. Focus Sash is just such a beautiful uh, card to be used in combination with these fighting Pokemon. I am absolutely loving it. We are going to see that Trainer's Mail. Uh, let's see if our opponent is going to be able to draw into something useful. It looks like that's not going to be the case, but we're going to see that Shauna. Uh, so let's see if our opponent's able to do anything else. I don't think there's a whole lot that they can honestly do right now. And I think they have reason to be scared because, I mean, those Lugia EXs uh, will be able to take advantage of, of their weaknesses. Same goes for that Manetric EX. So uh, this should be a very interesting battle. I feel like a Manetric EX is uh, mainly to be used as sort of an energy accelerator to load up those Lugia EXs. I'm assuming that's our opponent's main strategy. We are indeed going to see that Muscle Band so that uh, Fighting Stadium, uh, sorry, the um, Sacred Ashes can definitely pay off. Okay, so we have one more strong energy. You know what? I'm very, very reluctant to give up any of those. So I'm actually going to go and make use of the Professor Birch's observation. Believe me, these strong energies just go such a long way that I don't want to simply sycamore it. Uh, 
and hope let's hope we get the head so are we gonna get it and awesome looks like we will i mean last time we got the tail so i guess it's only fair right so let's go and bring out this dog drill i'm gonna go and bring out a diglet let's go and retreat that halucha and i'm definitely gonna attach the focus sash in case our opponent does get a double colorless energy let's go and use earthquake 80 damage and we should be able to knock it out during our next turn so things are going pretty well right now and I'll absolutely be making use of the Karina, possibly to grab onto an additional Dodrio during that next turn. We're going to see an additional energy card getting latched onto that Reggie Ace, getting hit for 50 damage. I guess our opponent is hoping for the Paralysis, and it looks like he will indeed get it. But uh, all we need is a Switch card, which I'm hoping we have, so I'm going to start off by looking for that Dodrio. And do we have that Switch card? Come on, yes, awesome, looks like we do. I would have been really bummed out if it would have been prized. Uh, let's go and bring out one more Halucha. And then I'm going to go and bring out the Dodrio. I, I feel like we only... Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, you, you know what? It doesn't matter. We have another Fighting Energy card in our hand. So let's go and bring it out. Let's go and switch into this Dodrio. 60 damage, knocking out the opponent's Reggie Ice and allowing us to draw onto one more prize card. So I have to say I'm actually very, very impressed with how well this deck has been working. And um, I actually, the Mountain Ring Stadium card does seem to be pulling its weight as well. Which is... Uh, I mean, it's, it's not like it's unfortunate. I was going to say unfortunate. But uh, what is unfortunate is, again, the fact that we can't make use of the Mr. Mime in its place. So I'm hoping to bring out one of our evolutions and then eventually evolve it into the Jolteon. So let us go and get rid of that Mountain Ring, sorry, of the Rough Sea Stadium card. Um, I think our priority should be to use the Seekomore instead. I, I do want to get some additional Pokemon, some additional energy card attachments going on. Awesome, looks like we're going to get a Dudrio, so I'll absolutely be bringing that out. Um, I guess this one can have a Muscle Band attached to it. I don't see what the big deal about that would be. Uh, and let's go and actually attach a strong energy card onto one of our Haluchas. Let's go and use Earthquake uh, for 80 damage and no backlash to our own Pokemon either. So things are going really, really well right now. Uh, again, we have the Jolteon in our hand, but unfortunately none of our EVs out at play just yet. So hopefully we can bring it out eventually and take advantage of the opponent's weaknesses because, of course, they do have the resistance. And we're going to see one more opponent conceding the game. Uh, so things are just going fantastically well with this deck right now. Again, I have to say I'm very, very impressed with it. Uh, so I guess we'll find ourselves one the last opponent, guys. And hope that this time around, our opponents give us a bit of a better challenge. Uh, because again, um, again, as you guys can see, these battles are just going very, very quickly. So, uh, Dajrio, you guys should probably maybe get a couple, I would say. I mean, I think that their value could go up a little bit. They're very, very, again, very energetically efficient and can deal with a lot of Pokemon. Those Focus Stashes do make all the difference in the world. Perhaps I should even consider upping to a total of four copies of the Focus Sash. Um, and I, I think, I mean, that, uh, that uh, sorry, what's it called? The Muscle Band is definitely a nice card as well. So I do actually like keeping that in my deck. So let's see what our opponent's going to start off with. I'm assuming it's a, some sort of fairy type deck. Looks like we are going to see that Xerneas as the opponent's active Pokemon, the Gardevoir Spirit Link. Um, so we're definitely going to have to take advantage of these Focus Sashes. And I could absolutely Lysander out that Gardevoir EX. But I think I'm going to hold off on that for now, guys. So let's actually go and make use of that Karina. Grab onto a Diglett. And I think I'd like to grab onto a Professor's Letter as well. Yeah, so let's actually go and grab onto that. Let's go and start things off by laying down that Diglett onto our bench. I'm going to go and attach a Fighting Energy card to it. Um, and that's going to be it for now. I'm going to hold off on the Focus Sash because I'm not really sure. I mean, I may attach it to that Halucha in case I want to go after that Gardevoir EX. Or I may actually attach it on to that Diglett as well. So we are going to see that Mega Gardevoir EX make its appearance. Uh, I want to see actually some uh, energy cards getting latched onto it because he could, of course, just max potion off the bulk of the damage. So let's go and lay down a Diglett. I'm going to go and make use of that Professor's Letter draw on to two Fighting Energy cards. I think I'm actually going to start assaulting that uh, sorry, Mega Gardevoir EX. So I'm going to go and Lysander it out. Let's go and lay down the Fighting Stadium. Again, I don't feel like there's a need for me to attach the Focus Sash onto any of our Pokemon just yet. I mean, things are going pretty well. We're going to go and hit that Mega Gardevoir EX for 80 damage. Two more attacks and we should be able to knock it out. And we are slowly getting those Diglets loaded up. We are going to see that Lysander for the random receiver. So Max Push and our opponent is definitely running a couple of those in his deck. We're going to see that Pokemon Center Lady. That is a bit of an odd card to include in any sort of fairy type decks. Uh, let's go and make use of that level ball. I think I'd like to bring out our first Doug Drio. I don't really think we're going to see that Eevee's uh, really uh, being useful for the most part. So let's go and attach a fighting energy card onto that Diglett as well. Again, Focus Sash, I don't think we really need it. So I'm going to go and make use of the Professor Birch's Observation. And awesome, looks like we will get a head. Let's go and use Flying Press. 80 damage one more time. 
and um, if I can somehow draw into a strong energy card and a muscle band, our Halucha could potentially knock out the opponent's Mega Gardevoir EX during our next turn, which would of course be something absolutely fantastic. Again, we don't see any Fairy Energy cards on our opponent's end just yet. We're going to see Spritzy make his appearance, and uh, yeah, so things are unfortunately not going all that well for our opponent. Looks like we're going to see a VS Seeker. We may just see the Lysander here, ladies and gentlemen, and are we going to see it? Yes, we will. Uh, we have a Korean on card pile, so... That's probably the card that I'm going to use. Yeah, it looks like our opponent is going to bring out that Diglett. Uh, so I feel like at this point, I'd like to get rid of that Fighting Stadium card. So let us go and bring out the Mountain Ring. Uh, you know what? I think I'm actually going to knock out that Spritzy. I mean, that can give us a lot of uh, difficulty, especially once it does ultimately evolve. Oh, actually, I have to make use of the Karina. Yeah, so I can't knock it out just yet. Uh, so, yeah, so let's uh, go and make use of the Karina. First of all, I'm going to go and use it to bring out a Dugdrio. And uh, what's the second card that I'd like to grab into um, Focus Sash Muscle Band? Do I want to hit our opponent's Pokemon for more damage? I could hit it for 80. No, I, I definitely can't knock it out during this attack. So um, I think I'm going to go and look for a level ball. Let's actually go and bring out some additional Diglets on to that bench. So we're going to go and bring out a Dodrio. Let's go and attach the strong energy onto it. Use that level ball. And um, a Halucha? No, let's go for the Diglett instead. I think I do want to bring out some of these Dodrios. Uh, because, of course, Halucha can't attack every single one of our opponent's Pokemon. Let's go and use Earthquake. 80 damage. And again, no damage to any of our own bench Pokemon. Uh, so that uh, Mountain Ring, I think, was the better card to bring out at this point. I mean, it would have been nice to knock out that Mega Gardevoir EX had I drawn onto, had I grabbed, for example, both a Muscle Band and the Strong Energy and then the Fighting Stadium. But then that would have, of course, affected our bench Pokemon as well, which wouldn't have worked out too well. So that Mega Gardevoir EX is going to lose its life. Um, again, we have a we have some pretty good cards, uh, so eh, let's let's actually hold off on the Focus Ash. Let's go and use that Professor Birch's Observation, and awesome, looks like we're going to get another head. Uh, Professor Birch's Observation just showing us a lot of love in this game. Let's go and attach a Fighting Energy card onto that Dodrio. One Halucha, I guess we can bring out an Eevee as well. I could always evolve it into the Jolteon, so... I don't see why I shouldn't exactly do that. Let's go and use Earthquake one more time. Knock out that Mega Gardevoir EX and that will allow us to draw on to two prize cards. So again, uh, okay, so it looks like we're going to see the opponent quit the game. But I feel like we're getting a lot of quits right now, guys. But I'm sure you guys have a, a very, very good understanding of what this deck is capable of. Again, hitting for 320 damage. Our opponent hitting us for no damage whatsoever. Of course, I didn't exactly take a look at our stats during our last games. But um, it was very heavily one-sided. And as you guys can see, these Diglets and Dodrios are just absolutely fantastic. Um, so you guys should definitely play around with them and see if you like them. Anyways, that is going to be it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Also, be sure to check out my previous video in the annotation section and of course a random video as well and also be sure to check out my twitter in case you guys would like to be eligible for some giveaways which i will be doing from time to time so be sure to check that out again all the links are provided in the description section down below so that is going to be it thank you guys very much for watching and i will see you guys next time Bye bye